Hi, classmates. I'm Linda McDonald Heslop. I'm uh, Marty Wendells Thompson. And we're here with a very special guest today, Mr. Jerome Smith, who was the first principal of Callaway High School in 1967. And Marty and I are going to ask him some questions today where he can share about his past and his present and his future. And this is a real important day for him because it is his 96th birthday. Marty? All right, Miss. Happy birthday. <laughs> the first day the doors opened at Callaway in 1966, what did you anticipate being the biggest thing you'd have to face problem-wise or maybe the best thing? The, uh, the greatest problem I had to face was that uh, we, they thought we would probably have uh, 500 uh, students in high school and 300 in junior high school. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem was we had 1,900 to register. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we had to start uh, thinking uh, quickly what, how, what we're going to do with these people. Well, the first thing we did is that we're going to build 15 new classrooms outside, portable classrooms outside. Portable, yeah. And then we're going to change the district. We're going to narrow the district down. And there was a, a, a couple who came by to see me and they saw one of them with his young daughter and says, now we're moving to Jackson and we want to uh, be sure she comes to this new school. So uh, then when they changed the lines then, so narrow it down to what we could take, they were, they were out. So uh, we had immediately what we could do with this couple, this couple they, they called us and said, listen, we purchased a house. We gave uh, $200,000 for this house. And you said we would come there. So I called the superintendent and says, let them come. So we changed the district to include them. So then uh, we had to, uh, uh, of course, we had been collecting a staff, the teachers for the uh, for 800 students, and now we had to uh, we had to get <laughs> a the, few. the superintendent says you can have 300 in junior high school, and I believe you said 900 in senior high school. So then we had to start then adjusting the staff immediately to be for that that number. And then how we would get people into those classrooms. That was a problem to face. No, that, that was a big one. Yeah. Well, what advice would you give the 1967 graduates now? I would give the, the students who would graduate now is to uh, uh, get you buy your textbooks and uh, get you ahead of your textbooks and start studying now and get the most you, most you possibly can out of the. Uh, years that you have left here in high school. Well, what about us, the 1967? Oh, what would you give the 50th? Yeah. Those who graduated. What would you give to us old guys? <laughs> well, if, if I was, then I was, all of them were going to be as, as attractive as you are. <laughs> and I'm very sincere about that. I would say, you don't have anything to worry about. You just, you just, you just go do your day that day activity, whatever it is. Keep going. Huh? The Lord will take care of the rest. That's the truth, Keep no matter trying. what. <laughs> All right. Okay. What do you enjoy about retirement? Or do you? <laughs> uh, I do enjoy uh, retirement. Pam and I have just returned to him, and my wife, and I've just returned from a uh, five week vacation. We, uh, I have uh, enjoyed t being able to take vacation now. So we had a five-week vacation. We went to Lake Louise in Canada, oh, and on out on the rivers out to the West Coast, down the West Coast uh, uh, for a couple of tours of states, and then, uh, uh, then we flew back from there, I believe. And it was oh, three, three weeks. We enjoyed that. And uh, then this, uh, we <coughs> just returned from uh, Vanderbilt uh, State. So anyway, this uh, guy who, was, uh, uh, who had uh, railroads and shipbuilding in the East Coast and built uh, homes, very expensive homes, uh, in the mountains down uh, oh, in yeah. Alabama. Oh, yeah. And uh, we were over there for Christmas, two <coughs> weeks, and uh, we liked it so much we probably don't go back. That's wonderful. <laughs> 
Well, what else do y'all do in your leisure time? You travel? What else? Uh, well, uh, Pam is, uh, Pam is uh, very active in the, with uh, community activities, very active in church work, and uh, so I just try, try to keep up with her. And, <laughs> and so she uh, so she do whatever she has to do, and she'll prepare three meals a day for me. Oh, there you go. That's important. <laughs> Well, you want to ask I've got another one. You've got another one? Well, I do. Um, <laughs> do you have plans for the future? I get to be more travel, more. You want to travel some more places that yes, you haven't been? Uh, yes, we are preparing now to what we're going to do at uh, Christmas. Oh, and okay. we, Pam mm -hmm. has decided that we're going to get on the train and go to, <laughs> to, uh, uh, to New Orleans. Oh, that sounds great. And uh, that we would uh, try to find out what is interesting in New Orleans, which we did this last There's year. There's always something interesting. Oh, yeah, that's a fun year. place to go to. <laughs> We're going to go back and see whether we missed anything last year that we can see this year. Well, that's that a good, really good, good. good plan. Good plan. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, thank you so much for being with us here today. We really appreciate you well, sharing all these memories. Well, I'll tell you, it's, it's been a long time since I've seen two uh, young ladies that <laughs> well, I know you have everybody. Plan to come to the reunion too. Yes, everybody's looking guy, forward to that. Who, this guy who turns up, he, he looks like he's doing pretty well also. Yeah, he <laughs> is. He is. <laughs> well, we want everybody coming for the Murrah and Callaway reunion. It's going to be June 9th, 10th, 11th, 2017. Everybody's got to come. It's going to be so much fun. Assume your 1967 position. <laughs> tell them to be there. You got to oh. tell them to be there. Be there. Predict the reunion. Yes. That's it. Yes. Thank you.